what's the difference between getting a nose job and changing your skin color? What's the difference between getting wearing a hair weave and changing your skin color? You know, nobody nobody was upset when I was wearing 30 inch weaves and you know tearing out my edges and doing all type of shit like that. You guys loved it, but what is the difference? You understand? I don't understand what the difference is. Um, because there really isn't a difference, and I think that for so many people to say oh you wanting to you know lighten your skin or whatever it's just kind of like like to say that it negates anything that i've said about the this this current situation of you know blackness in america is ignorant girl kaboom <laughs> everybody welcome to the big boy project we're back with another video today and today's topic is azealia banks apparently she want to bleach her skin this pro-black woman that goes on rants on twitter every day want to bleach her skin and she's comparing it to uh having weave which is so dumb weave is not permanent bleaching your skin is so uh, i want to know everybody's thoughts on this let me start with eddie what's your thoughts about this you know, it's I'm I'm conflicted because I'm a big fan of like her music and I've been a big fan of hers for a while until all this started with her. So it's like you try to ride with her still for a little bit and try to find like some kind of like light at the end of the tunnel, but I just I can't. Like she's really turning me off completely with this. Like it was one thing when she was doing all her rants and everything. It's like even some of those you give a side eye to, but now this is too far and it completely contradicts everything that she's been trying to rant about for the longest time so it's like you know i just hope everything's okay with her mentally because i don't know i don't know if she has a mental issue i don't know if she's just doing this for attention i don't know but it's not it's not appealing okay well what's your opinion about this um azia bank situation um adrian oh god i mean like what else you know she's like a fucking like walking tornado just everywhere she goes is just like something every time just like everything i mean she makes good points i understand that like black women feel very um you know objectified and boxed into a very like narrow um label and like they feel the need to sometimes like accentuate the, their features to look more european it's a very long discussion um about skin bleaching but I mean, the short of it is one, I really don't give a fuck about Azalea Bank. <laughs> and two, <laughs> it just seems like very toxic. Seems like something you like, it's not like like hair weaves, all that stuff. That stuff is like temporary that you can take out and avoid like damaging your actual body, you know? Very um, true. You know, and, and that stuff can be more like drag, you know? Um, yeah, it's not a permanent alteration. Exactly, you know, yeah. and like you can go for a look. This is just like, like photoshopping your skin. Like it's not cool. <laughs> so I don't know. But it's Azalea Banks. Let her do whatever she wants to. Well, like I say, it's a different, uh, a deeper issue that's going on. I agree with that. Something that in her brain is telling her to do this, and I think she needs more therapy because I think that's why she lashes out. Because if she, if you have nobody to talk to, you just lash out. Yeah. Or, you, or you think you have nobody to talk to. She probably have plenty of people that on her side on a lot of stuff. and But she feels inside that she has nobody to talk to. Hold mm -hmm. on. Like, like I said, this is my opinion. I don't know her life. <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> this is her coming for you on Twitter. <laughs> right. Her, but I, I believe that she needs to talk to somebody. And like, if, do you, if you really want to bleach your skin, that's your choice. But I think you need to go to therapy figure out what the issue is, and after that, you still want to bleach your skin, that's your, that's your own prerogative. I mean, she can do whatever she wants to do. I know that she's going through that transformation right now where she, she got new new tits, and, you know, she's, like, trying to clean up her look a little bit more, seem like a little bit, quote-unquote, classier or whatever. Trying to be more I, don't know, I, don't a, I don't pay enough attention to her. I'm not really just a guy helper. It just seems like so many issues are going on. You know, I hope that she has a, she finds a way to get a healthy mind. I mean, if this, this helps her, then fine. Let her be white. 
But at the same time, do it. So you know. But at the same time, to what extent is she's bleaching her skin? Now, if you're trying to do it like all the way, what Lil Kim did, that is dangerous. That's too dangerous. I like I said, we we don't know the full story. We just know what she's putting out. So, True. and the biggest thing is, it's it's her body. She's an adult. She can do what she wants to do. But to me, it just completely contradicts the whole pro black stance that she had. You know, when this whole ranting thing with her started, you know, she took on like a very pro black stance. It's kind of like evolved into more, I guess, craziness mm-hmm. from there. But now that you're bleaching your skin, it completely negates everything you said in the beginning about you know, being black and being called black. And then she goes, um, because I go to like the music board and we talk about like general discussion and um, like current events and everything. And so she comes up a lot and she's gone in on people like on Instagram and attacking them and saying, you need to bleach your skin. Like there was some girl, I guess she was having a back and forth with on Instagram. And then she was like, you need to go buy some, I think it's like white mischief or something like that. Um, It's like bleach. Bleaching cream, and she was like, "You need to go get some of that and start using it." And I'm like, "I can't, like, I can't rock with you if you're doing this stuff and you're telling people this stuff." You know, it just to me, it has no basis considering the pro-black stance that you took in the beginning. Right. Like, it makes you look like. I think that she one doesn't have any friends who give a shit about her rants anymore. I think that, like, if you, I mean, think about it. If you had Azalea Banks as your friend, wouldn't you be like, "I'll have bitches talking again." Oh, just let her do whatever. Oh. Like, <laughs> like, girl, I'll see you in a few hours. Like, I'm good. You but, know? Think, but at the same time, I think everybody got that friend that's really sp- speaks their mind. Or, yeah. you know, she's like, but she's kind of like Kanye, though, and she doesn't have a filter. You mm-hmm. know, so like, like Eddie was saying, she she's always contradicting her, her main point. Like, you know, recently, you know, and I know this is a different topic for a different day, but like recently, Zayn said something out of pocket about police brutality, you know. Um, and for a moment, I was like, damn, Azalea Banks had a point about Zane. But at the same token, she called him like a sand nigger. So it's like, right. you know, right. like, it's like, you know, you, you want to give her props for things, but you're also like, you just, you're doing so much, you know. Right. Like the first two tweets, this stopped there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you're so good. Like you, like A plus gold star for those first two tweets. After that, it's like, ooh, right. Like she'll make a point. But you should stop and right there. A, yeah, and she'll make a good point, and then it's like she keeps going, and then she completely overshadows the point that she made with the bull. Yeah, she need she need to live a pope in her life. Like, <laughs> the, like the first two tweets after she try to type another word, smack. Nope. Stop. That's it. You, right. you get it right here. Period. Oh, that phone, that phone should immediately cut off. <laughs> that's, that's Lock out. Right. I mean, I feel, I feel bad sometimes because I definitely know what it feels like to be that exhausting friend. But, God, girl, I mean, how long can people put up with that shit? I mean, how old is she now? Um, she was born in 1991. 91. Oh, God. Really? So she's, what, about 25? 25, yeah. See, this is about the time that she should start to, like, kind of grow out of that shit. Like, her filter should be kind of being, like, refined mm. at this point, or starting to. The sad yeah. thing is, I think she's really, really, really talented. And it's just, like, you're letting all of this stuff overshadow, you know, your talent. You're missing out on so many opportunities over stupid shit. Right. You know? That's what I said. I agree with you. Like, put it in a fucking song. Like, when's yeah. the last time you put on an album, girl? Like, yeah, put all put all that frustration minus the uh, racism in your music. <laughs> that that's that's your platform music. If you want people to know who you are and what you are about, stuff for your art, right in your art. So what happens is you, you alienate a lot of your fans when you talk like that. You know, right? Especially 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 young little girls that look it up at you Definitely. because the media is a strong drug. Nowadays we go so much on the media, so it's so a little girl looking at you. It's like, oh, she bleaches your skin. I want to do that when I get older, and mm-hmm. there's no point in it. There's no point in bleaching your skin unless you go to a dermatologist and you getting it professionally done for marks like, on your face. I, I was just about to say, if you're trying to like get marks taken care of or even out a skin tone, like that's one thing. 
but just because you feel like lighter skin is more accepted, then that's not a good enough reason to me. Right. Like, girl, you're black. They're going to see you as black no matter what shade of. <laughs> and honestly, and honestly speaking, to me, that was part of her appeal. You know, she was a pretty, like, chocolate girl, and it's like you don't see a lot of that anymore. It seems like, you know, the lighter skinned girls seem to get the more of a push. So to me, that was part of her appeal. I like the fact that she was a pretty chocolate girl doing her thing. Yeah, right. and she's just going to look weird being like, you know how white chocolate looks sometimes? Mm. You know, <laughs> like, well, and then even who was it? It was a Sammy Sosa who bleached his skin. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness! Oh my don't even God. get me started. Don't even get me started on him. Oh my looking God! Looking a damn fool, just looking like he got flour picked on his face. He, he looks straight. Yeah. He, look, he look like a creature. I can't. I can't pinpoint the creature. He looked like he looks like a Halloween costume. Girls, white girls, the movie, the Wayans movie. Oh, the white chicks, white chicks, the white chicks. Yeah, yeah. that's what he looks well, like. And that's what I was just about to say, too, when you do, but a lot of people, and I see, you know, a lot of people that have bleached their skin, like pictures and stuff of them online, they have this very, like, washed out, muddy looking complexion. Like, it's not a, it's not like you have a glowing, you know, nice looking complexion. It's very off, like ashy looking almost. It's not natural at all. Almost like, they, yeah, it's almost like they look like they're sick. Right. Like a little not, I'm not gonna say they look worse than they did before. <laughs> but, but the thing is, like Lil Kim, she looks terrible. And the only reason why she looks, and the only reason why she looks half decent is because there's makeup involved. Yeah. Before she go anywhere, of course she's gonna put makeup on her face. But if you've seen her without the makeup, her skin does not look natural because that's not her natural color. It doesn't look natural. Well, it's a lot of things that don't look natural about Lil Kim nowadays, but. Right. You know, no shade. And I love I love Kim, but I mean we just gotta keep it all the way real right now. Like she's messed herself up. And she she was a cute girl, you know, and I don't right. know why, but right. you don't love it. you don't love yourself, that's what happens. When I saw that I said, What happened what happened to that dark chocolate girl that had a titty out on the um war show? What happened to her? <laughs> the little bedazzled titty on the um war show. She's she, long she, gone. She was, she was beautiful then. And don't get me wrong, like, I don't knock it. If you want to go do a little nip and a tuck here and there, like, do your thing. Like, I'm not knocking it, but stop at some point. Like, don't go too far with it. Watch a marathon of botched. Child, that show is entertaining, but this hearing the horror stories, like, they try to go to Mexico and get the cheap version, and it got, like, this yeah. giant scar. Infections and everything right. else. Yes. Like I said, if you go to therapy and you figure out what the problem is and you still want to do it, that's something different. Because you know what the problem is and you know, and you still want to do it. That's what makes well, you happy. And if you think about it, any time that you get one of these procedures, whenever they, whenever they take and put you under and give you anesthesia, like that's putting your life at risk. Mm -hmm. Regardless of whether it's just a routine boob job or whatever, whenever you go under – you know, there's a certain degree of chance that something could happen or go wrong. And so, I mean, look at Kanye West's mom. You know, rest her soul, she was getting cosmetic procedures when she started having complications and ultimately ended up passing away from that. And not so even that. Check out Joan Rivers. She went for a routine checkup. Yeah. They were doing, like, some kind of throat procedure or something on her routine. And so it's just you just never know. So when you go and take all this time and all these, you know, amounts that you go put yourself under for cosmetic surgery, I mean, you're putting yourself at risk.